tired to have a son. Children. Do you know what is Krishna? Who can say? You say something about Krishna. Hmm. So what does he do? <coughs> Tell something about Krishna. You have read Krishna book? Huh? He was given many names. Huh? He was given many names. That's all right. Many names everyone has got. But what is the difference between your many names and Krishna's many names? Just like your father calls you by some name, and mother calls you by some name, friends calls you. So you have also also many names. Similarly, Krishna has also many names. But what is the between? What is the difference? between your name and Krishna's name. Can anyone say? Each of Krishna's names has a meaning behind it. Huh? Each of Krishna's names has a meaning behind it. Every name has got some meaning. That is not. The difference is that Krishna and Krishna's name, the same thing. Just like if you want uh, water, if you simply uh, say water, 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 that substance water is not there. Try to understand it. The water, liquid substance, that is different from the name water. Anything you can, just like there is rose. So if you simply uh, chant rose, 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 there is no rose. Rose is different from the name rose. Uh, similarly, in the material world, anything you take, uh, the name is different from the substance. Whereas in case of Krishna, the name Krishna and the person Krishna the same thing. Just like we are chanting Hare Krishna, the holy name of Krishna, that means immediately Krishna is on your tongue. Is dancing on your cha- uh, tongue. This is the difference. Therefore, immediately we chant the holy name of Krishna means immediately we get in contact with Krishna or in association, just as we are sitting together. Uh, similarly, as soon as you chant Hare Krishna, Immediately Krishna is with you. Immediately. Krishna is with you always. Still, particularly, tatra tishthami nārada yatra gāyati madhvakta. And there is a fact. If you chant Hare Krishna mantra, that means you directly associate with Krishna. And Krishna being the Supreme Spirit, Parabrahma, then although we have got this material body, still by association with Krishna we become spiritualized. It's like you take one iron rod and put into the fire, the rod becomes warm. At last the rod becomes red hot. So when the iron is red hot, you put in in touch with anything else, it will burn. It is no more iron rod. 
although it is iron rod, but because it is, it was in touch with fire, now it has uh, attained the quality of fire. Similarly, if you always remain in touch with Krishna by chanting His holy name, then you become spiritualized. Therefore, chanting of His holy name is very important. Kirtaniya Sadahari, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu advises that you should chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra always, twenty-four hours. Then you remain in touch with Krishna, just like the iron rod in touch with the fire. And gradually, as the iron rod turns to be fire, similarly, constantly in touch with Krishna means you become Krishnaized in the same quality. That is one we are now covered by material things. Inside we are there. Dehinas means the Inside we are spirit soul. Outside, just like inside your coat, you are there. But the coat is outside. When the coat and shirt is taken away, then you are pure in its original body. Similarly, as soon as these material coverings are taken away, then we are spirit soul. We have to attain to that stage that is perfection of human life. To get out of this material common. To get out of this material covering means you get your original spiritual body and you become eternal, blissful, ānandamaya, bhyāsāt. We are seeking after ānanda, everyone. We are dressing, we are talking, we are going here and there. The real purpose is how to become happy. That happiness, ānanda, is being hampered on account of this material covering that we uh, do not understand in this stage. In this stage also there are three stages goodness, passion, and ignorance. In the ignorance stage, it's almost like dull matter or animals. In the passion stage, there is more propensity for enjoyment. And in the goodness stage, we can get some glimpse of light of our spiritual existence. Therefore, we have to come to the platform of goodness to understand the spiritual values of our life. This platform of goodness is described in the Bhagavad-gītā, that is, qualified brahminical stage, not a Brahmin born in the family and doing all nonsense. No, not like that. A quality Brahmin. Quality Brahmin means one who is truthful, one who is self-controlled, one who has control his mind and senses, huh? one who is very tolerant, one is very simple, no duplicity, one who is very, very advanced in knowledge and not only simply one knows, but the uh, things are practically uh, behave just like 
I may know, you may know, a Brahman means truthful. It's not simply to know truthful, but actually to become truthful. That is called vijñāna. As some of you who are studying science, the scientific knowledge means you should know theoretically <coughs> what is uh, water, a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. But you must know how to prepare mixing the two chemicals, hydrogen and oxygen. That is called the jñāna. Gyan means simply theoretical knowledge. And vijñāna means practically to know, experimental knowledge. So these are the qualifications of Brahmi. Jñāna vijñāna māsikam brahma karma sabhāva. So when you are on this platform, pure life, full of knowledge, then you will be able to understand what is God, what is Brahma. And this is will be very easily done if you simply hear the holy name of Krishna. Sinnatang sakatha Krishna, punna savana kīrta. You become purified. In this way, as soon as uh, you become purified, not, even not fully purified, say fifty percent purified, then you are immediately situated on the modes of goodness. That purification can be possible nittaṁ bhāgavata sevaya by associating with devotees and understanding the subject matter stated in the śrīmad-bhāgavatam in the Bhagavad-gītā. We are having so many centers all over the world just to give chance to the people to understand the subject matter of the Bhagavad-gītā and the Śrīmad-bhāgavata. So in this way one becomes purified and happy. Evaṁ prasanna manaso bhagavad bhakti yoga this Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga uh, by practicing Bhagavad Bhakti Yoga, one becomes prasannamana, very happy mode. Then you will be able to understand Bhagavad Tattva Vijnanam Mukta Sangha Sajaya. Uh, so, from the very beginning of your life, as Prahlad Maharaj did, Komaro Acharis Pragya Dharmana Bhagavatani Ha. He was five years old, and from the beginning of his life, he was Krishna conscious, and he used to teach Krishna consciousness among his class friends, Prahlad Maharaj, in the school. He would preach Krishna consciousness uh, among the small children. So try to follow Mahajana Jina Gatasapantha. Follow the footprints of great personalities like Prahlad Maharaj, Dhruva Maharaj. They were child, but still they become the topmost devotee. There are many others. The Kumaras, they were very topmost devotees. So, of course, it requires a little endeavor. Prahlad Maharaj's father was a demon, 
नंबर वन इज थीस्ट स्टिल प्रहलाद महाराज एट द चांस टू हियर नारद मुनि वाइल ही वाज विद इन द ओम ऑफ हिज मादर नारद मुनि वाज इंस्ट्रक्टिंग हिज मादर बट प्रहलाद महाराज विद इन द ओम ऑफ हिज मादर हार्ड एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम नारद मुनि सो बिफोर कमिंग आउट ऑफ द ओम ऑफ मादर he understood the bhagavat gita so from the very beginning of his life he was bhagavat bhagavat means devotee uh, so we can follow prallan maharaj divo maharaj and of course he requires the help of the parents otherwise if we practice bhagavat dharma और भक्ति योग फ्रॉम द वेरी बिगिनिंग ऑफ आवर लाइफ इट इज सक्सेसफुल लाइफ फॉर्चुनेटली वी हैव द गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ लर्निंग भागवत धर्म फ्रॉम आवर वेरी चाइल्डहुड माय फादर वाज द वोटी एंड इट ट्रेंड अस सो इट इज द ड्यूटी of all parents to train the children in the bhagavad dharma then life is successful otherwise life is not successful there is every chance of falling down uh, falling down means <coughs> life is meant for <coughs> elevation to the platform of spiritual life and if you do not do that then i fall down to the animal life there are many species of life you have seen in your front uh, one may become cats and dogs also there is a great science but people have no knowledge neither in the school colleges these things are taught neither do they know the so called teachers and educated person they do not know so as far as possible uh, try to understand this krishna philosophy and chant hare krishna महामंत्र वेन वैर यू हैव गॉट टाइम आई थिंक यू हैव गॉट एनफ टाइम दैट इज माई रिक्वेस्ट दैट यू आर फीचिंग ऑन अवर थैंक यू वेरी मच